what is up guys welcome to a brand new video and yes you know you know i am back to racing rivals i am back playing racing rivals well i wouldn't say back but like i want i checked this game out because i heard there was up there was a brand new update so i wanted to see what's new because and oh my god i can already tell the graphics are even more shit than last time like Look at this big white glow on the floor. It just makes it look not good at all. The paint is too bright. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with this new company. And then I read what's I read what was new in the game, and then it looks like the new uh, the new company is actually trying hard to keep the customer satisfied. But so far they are kind of failing because. The graphics are horrible. If they want to make most of the customers happy or people that play this game, fix the graphics. Fix the graphics. Please fix them. So I'm going to go ahead. I think it's a news, right? Alright, so you can tell. six Update 6.4. I think it just came out this week or I don't know when it came out, but it's somewhere this week. So the, so the new thing is new tutorial, complete overhaul of the tutorial. I don't know what that is since I got this game like two years ago. Been playing ever since, so I don't know what that is. I think I gotta get, I gotta um, get the game on my other phone and then see what the tutorial is about. Teaches better control of the car and flow of the game. Okay, so for new players. I guess you guys are going to be taught the game really well, which shouldn't be even that hard. It's just launch and shifting. What's so hard about that? Functional tackle meter. We threw out the OEM tackle meter and went aftermarket. Every car is unique, and the new tackle meter helps you learn to find the sweet spot on each gear. Okay, we're going to try that out with a couple races after. We moved global chat. By ra ra raving request, it's gone. Okay, so yeah, the global chat was annoying. So many people, so many scammers selling, saying they're selling cars. So good thing that's gone. Challenge friend. Want to race a friend only without interruption by other players? You can now jump to a private lobby with your friend by challenging them directly from the friends list. You won't believe what happens to lobby jumpers next. Wow. Like, to be honest, before... You could you could have still raced your friend, but the thing is, oh wow! So you can no longer, because the purpose of joining lobbies before was so you can race your friends, and that that's how lobby jumpers did. They added a friend that was like a low level, and then they got their fast car and went to the lobby. So now the only way there's I I think there's no more joining lobbies, guys. And if you want to race your friends. You guys are sent to a private lobby where it's only you and your friend. So, I think jump lobby, lobby jumpers are gone. Thank you. At least you guys did something good about this. Thank you. Garage. When a car is selected, you can see the number of parts installing and time remaining for those installs. How convenient. I thought we already had those things. If you have parts installing before you go to the map... Players have the opportunity to complete individual installs or complete all installs at a discount. And okay, discount is always good for me. Inventory. With 6.3, we increase how much stuff you can hoard in your inventory. Now you can filter through your amounts of, of plunder to find what you're looking for. Okay, yeah, because I had a huge mess, mess and other people did too. Tuning. After years of players' requests... Conversions and are now removable. This includes NOS, turbocharger, and supercharger. We can now remove those. Wow, dude, I can already feel tunes coming out very soon, especially by Pick Pen. Tunes are going to be coming out everywhere. Want to join an event but in the wrong car? But you're in the wrong car. You can view and pick your eligible car without going back to the garage. Thank God. Loading screen. I hate that. Quick match no longer dumps you into global chat while matchmaking. Thank God. Another thing about mess. Uh, the global chat being removed. Audio. New car sounds. Menu sounds. 
and ambient sounds and background music. Okay, so new car sounds, does that mean some cars have their new, their personal engine, or they just added a different sound? Because I know the Ford Mustang GT has a different sound than the Camaro Z28. Z28 sounds more like meanish. Navigation, change the back button, change the back button in different instances to map or garage, because there, that's where it actually goes. Wow, makes sense. Bug fixes, bug fixes and functionality. Moved Alex's brain to the server. Brain? What the? Cars awarded through the tutorial will not be pinkable in multiplayer events. Thank you, because many people would do it. What people would do is make a second account, up to three, four accounts. Get good cars from campaign to campaign, all the way to Rio or New York. And then they would pink those cars to their main account and then that's how double collision would happen technically so now those are not allowed so if you make a second account you can't pink the campaign cars improved load time of the of the videos okay improved graphics no you get no you guys made it worse performance improvements metallic shader fixed i don't know what that is an error was occurring causing metallic colored cars to show as chrome paint I don't even have a metallic car, so don't know what that is. Speed bug. Cars were running a little slower. This was caused by an error which led to the car letting off the throttle for exactly one frame f following that shift. I think I had that problem. Wheels appearing black on the winning car and the end of the race. Well, I'll never win the car, so I don't know what that is. Cars falling to load, failing to load. Added, added so that the game will not freeze and lock players out of it if this occurs. Betting process showed incorrect amounts. Okay, more coming. Larger shift button and nitrous button. Larger touch area for both other stuff. So so far, the global chat is gone, right? Yep. Thank you. Okay, so they said they improved. Um, they made new engine sounds and what whatever. Wait, let's check out the conversions removable kit. Let's see if that's possible. They said it was. Wait, do I have to install stage one in order to remove it? Or how does this work? I don't see a sign of removing it. Sorry, guys. I haven't been playing this game in a couple months again. Conversion kits. Oh, there we go. Uninstalled. Um, for sake, I'm not uninstalling this at all because it's a Max C28. I'm not supposed to do that. So let's do a driver's challenge. Let's see how the new mechanics work. They said they added new things to the racing scene. So let's see what's what's new in it. Let's find out. All right. So sorry if there's any like what the what is. Wait, what? What? Wait, this is so weird. And I, I, I do admit I raced before I made the video just once. But yeah, how are you supposed to know when to shift and when to launch? Like, you guys remember when you guys rubbed the engine? Like, like three blue dots and then the green dot or a red dot would appear if you're like... Like, it tells you where to shift and where to launch. Now, that doesn't show anymore, so... Are you supposed to guess where it launches? Is there any type of indicator? That is really weird, guys. That's gonna be a kind of a problem now. Because I... Everybody's used to, like, knowing where to launch and shift. Now, you gotta guess, and then after you guess it right, you just do it from there and on, but... Like, what the? God. What is this? Now it doesn't even show the after screen. Alright, one more. Man, the lag is real. 
I don't know, guys. I feel like this this new company is kind of killing the game. But I hope they redeem themselves sooner or later. Preferably sooner. What is... Why is even, like, a, like lights in the bottom of the launch button? When are you supposed to shift? Oh, okay, I see how. But nothing is telling you, right? Yeah, I'm not gonna win, guys, so... I'll see you guys in the next episode where we're gonna try to do multiplayer because right now I need to go to bed and my parents don't know I'm awake. So, well, they're in the, in the living room, but I'm being kind of quiet. Or my room is kind of far away from the living room so they can't hear me. But I'll catch you guys in the next episode, alright? Peace out. Um, and tell me in the comments below what you guys think about this new update. About the new, um, with the new things, like, for example, the... That thing, there's like, there's like three lights under the, the launch button, white. What would you need that if we already have one in the top like we always had? I don't know what that, I don't know what that is for, but we'll find out later, guys. Peace out, and like always, leave a like and subscribe. Peace out.